all right hello and welcome to another video on the channel so this is an update video on the primordial learning framework and in the context of applying it to an actual concept theory so first i'd like to revisit the model as i refined it a bit and add a bit more i guess definition to it so this model i guess they're like it can be distilled in like four stages of discovery so that's inspiration distillation unification and abstraction Inspiration, that's like the spark of inspiration, uh, that's the spark of inspiration you get to explore a concept, field, idea, uh, procedure, theory, etc. Um, distillation, so how do you take that inspiration and distill that into practical things that you have to learn to update or I guess execute that model, procedure, um, theory, etc. Uh, unification, so that's taking what you learn from the process of distillation and unifying and applying that to your model, procedure, uh, uh, your model, procedure, theory, etc. And then abstraction is taking that and applying that to other ideas and concepts and seeing if you can make further abstractions from that. And pontificating on this model and the nature of things, I was able to articulate a few propositions for discovery. So I think a foundational thing that I've observed is that there's a natural law of grouping and materialization where things like ideas, ecosystems, organisms, and things of the like take on and embody the properties of what's around them so therefore by nature defining the space around them so once you understand the space or domain of what you're exploring you can better map out a structure function and or extract the elements of that thing um, of that space domain whatever um, then visualization so this is getting to like i guess you like the mind's eye your intuition and being connected to like the ether <laughs> source nature and things of that nature um, where you can tap into that spring of life and gain insights into the nature of things. Um, and this is seen throughout like many, I guess, revolutionaries and geniuses and things of that nature, that they were able to tap into that, like I said, that source and extract uh, meaningful principles and discoveries and things of that nature. So, um, and then lastly, that's this, that discovery leads to ideas which leads to creation. So if you're, I guess, doubtful that you'll be able to, I guess, come up with ideas or ways to apply what you discover um it's likely to it, it, i think it's more than likely that it'll occur at some point during the stage of um, discovery that you will generate some ideas that you can then utilize what you learn to create uh, i think that's a good way to put it so getting to the actual example so i'm using einstein's formulation of general relativity and just as a disclaimer this is like a general outline of the discovery uh, the formulation of general relativity in the context of this framework. So, um, for his inspiration, it was again, it stemmed from the source, the ether, its inner world. So, he had a vision on about traveling at the speed of light that conflicted with, with the current understanding of light, the behavior of light. And from that, um, he distilled, I guess, the principles, the laws determining the laws determining the motion and behavior of light. So that's like Newton's laws of physics, the theory of elect electromagnetic fields, and the theory of stationary luminiferous, luminiferous, I think that's how you pronounce it, and took that, uni unifying that into special relativity, which was then updated to general relativity. So update in this context is basically rerunning um, whatever unification you made through back, back through the process of discovery and um, updating your model essentially with newer um, information and then abstractions from that was like classical field theory which then again updated to quantum field theory and lastly I have a few abstractions that may be useful in aiding you in your process of learning so I won't read through it but um, if you feel called or feel like this will help you um, pause the video and read through it and uh, yeah so that's about it for this one um, I'll continue to update this model and I guess iterate on it, but that's about all I have for now. As always, until next time.